Hello and welcome to Trade of the Week for a week starting Monday the 10th of October. Let's look back at last week's trade and that was short gold. Unfortunately, I got it wrong in terms of the short term move, but I think I'm still right in terms of the long term move. What we're looking at here is a continuation of the intraday move. You can see it here on the four hour chart uh, that we were following this pattern here. So lower highs and lower lows here. We were looking at this latest rally and looking for that to roll over once again. It didn't happen. We took out that first swing high, which was here and therefore took out the stop loss. But crucially, if we take it back to the daily time frame, the fact that we broke through that level then points towards the wider retracement coming into play. We've come back into trend line resistance and we're selling off and gathering pace from here. So you could look for trades around about this level and look for shorts and putting stops above that 1735. It would necessitate the breaking of this wider trend as well and break through that trend line resistance. So I still think that this is an interesting market to look out for potential shorts, but that doesn't really help trade of the week because um, on this occasion uh, we've been taken out and much like any of the previous moves, I mean, you could say here, so there's going to be sort of trend downwards within this. So you'll be able to make money through this over the, the course of a month. But then at some point it's going to give way into the wider retracement. And that's when you then look at the bigger picture for a sell. And that's exactly what's happened here. The short term trend's broken. And now we're looking into the wider picture back into trend line resistance. And we're seeing it roll over once again. This week, I wanted to take a little bit of a punt and look for a potential reversal. I always like to go with the trend. This occasion, I'm going to try and do the opposite. And that's because of it looks quite interesting from a risk reward perspective. We've seen an extended move towards the downside over the course of the last, say, month and a half for indices. This is the Dow Jones. And you can see here we've now reached oversold, starting to close in on a potential bullish cross here. We have seen some tentative upside momentum gathering pace here, but on the daily time frame, we can see the back end of last week, seeing significant losses coming into play, I think in part because of the fact that we saw OPEC decide to try and ramp up energy prices. And I do think that that is a distinct risk going forward. Uh, so that's something to look out for. But what we have seen here is that recent rally, uh, if we look at, say, the four hour chart, it's taken us through this swing high here. Uh, so we're looking at this wider retracement here, and that gives us the possibility of us to rally in towards this key area of resistance here between the two Fibonacci levels, 31155, 31732. And crucially, what we've done here is we've broken out of this short term trend, rallied, retraced. But key to that is we've retraced into the 76.4 Fib and we've touched it on three occasions here and now started to move higher once again. So I'm looking for this market to rally and push in towards a deeper uh, rebound here. I am aware of the fact that in my mind, this would just be a setup for us to sell. So this is a counter trend move, but it's the fact that we've come into this nice deep retracement and we're looking to extend beyond this level that I think I'll be able to get a good risk to reward on this. So if I take my trade here and put my stop losses at you know, below this low, let's say 28655. Then from where we are at the moment, 28655 is around about 627. So if we're looking towards the upside, we're talking about around about a two to one here. So let's look at targeting, say, 30700. So towards the upside, around about 1400 points. So a bit better than a two to one trade on this occasion. And the crucial to this is going to be Thursday's US CPI reading. It has the potential uh, to turn the tide over the near term, at least, where people start to think that maybe we've topped out. We are expecting to see a lower figure in terms of US CPI. If that comes to the fore, then you're looking at the possibility that people think we're going to see a more relaxed stance from the Federal Reserve. Arguably, that could all be undone if we see energy prices rise and therefore we see the possibility of a new phase of inflation coming into play. So Thursday CPI number is going to be key, but look out for the potential for a rebound for indices as we move throughout the week. And I am looking for a short term long in the Dow Jones Industrial Average.